Hi, my name is Joyce Tisdale, and I'm a member of Ebenezer AME Church in Baltimore, Maryland. I've been a member since 1999, and I came um, as a result of an invitation from a friend of mine. Uh, my mother had passed in March of 99, and I went to a funeral of another friend of mine um, later on in May. And a friend of mine was there at the funeral and invited me to come to Ebenezer Church the following Sunday. When I came, I was in a, sort of in a raw state. Um, like I said, I was, I was still mourning the loss of my mother. And when I came to Ebenezer, everybody was so open and so warm. And they greeted me, they hugged me, they loved me. And it was like I found a whole nother family. Um, being what I call an orphan, I had lost both my mother and my father. So coming to a church as an orphan, even though a grown, I was grown, a grown orphan, to have people surround you with love like that, I've been here ever since. I wouldn't give up Ebenezer for anything. This, this is my home. This is my home away from home. I don't live around here. Actually, I live in Northwest Baltimore. And uh, some people say, you go all the way down to South Baltimore to go to church? Yes, I do. I have been to some churches um, in Northwest Baltimore. I've been to some churches in East Baltimore. Um, my father, as a matter of fact, was a member of Trinity AME Church, which is in East Baltimore. But it was at Ebenezer here where I felt most at home, where I felt most welcome, and where I felt welcome enough to stay all these years. And I, I expect to be at Ebenezer until, um, until I die. This is, this is my home church. This is the place where I like to be. This is the place where, like I said, I've been welcomed and I've been loved and I have. This is where my family goes. All of my family. <laughs> and I'm just glad that Ebenezer was here for me. Like I said, when I came, I felt very raw and very open. And I was very depressed. I was very depressed. But it's hard to be... <laughs> It's hard to be depressed when you have people hugging you, telling them, I'm just so glad to see you. I'm just so glad you're here. So that's, been, that's how it's been for me, and I'm just glad. Um, Richard Allen, who's the founder of the AME Church, was a Methodist. And he established the AME Church because when he and some other former slaves went to worship, in a Methodist church, um, they were told that they could not worship, they could not, they couldn't say anything, they had to sit at a certain spot, you know, the, the, the slaves had to sit over here, they could not be part of a church, and we had a God that loved everybody, and so he and some of the other slaves, they walked out of the service. And at that point, they, they started, they established their own, their own church. And what they did uh, before Ebenezer was actually built, they met in a livery stable, which was uh, where they would show shoe horses. Um, and or, that's where they started having their first church meetings until they could build, build the church. And if you look around Ebenezer upstairs, to me, that just fills me with awe and wonder because everything up there was handmade. The church is over 170 years old. Actually, it's 176 years old. And in that beginning, they didn't have the kind of equipment that we have now when we build things. So when I think about how they carved the wood for the pews and how they carved the wood for the molding, and how this was done by hand. It wasn't turned on any type of machinery. This was all done by hand. It just, it just fills me with awe. And I look and see how beautiful and the care that was taken into the building of the church. And even though I wasn't here, I heard that Ebenezer was um, a school as well as a church, um, a stop, one of the, one of, one of the many stops or the Underground Railroad, 
we have um, downstairs in the basement, which we don't go to too much anymore, but downstairs in the basement, you can see from the foundation the care that was put into this church and the love that went into the building. And when I think of the nickels and dimes that people scraped together to get the material, that's awesome to me. I think that was the original intent in my book um, for Ebenezer to be a place where people can come and grow together, to, to learn about God together, to look out, out for each other, and to be a place where Anybody is welcome, even though we are AME, African Methodist Episcopal, it doesn't mean that we're limited to just African Americans. Everybody's welcome. It doesn't matter um, whether you're black, you're white, you're Chinese, you're, you're Korean or whatever. Everybody's welcome in God's house and everybody's welcome here at Ebenezer. And if you want to get loved on and hugged on, this is the place to come to because it's that type of congregation. Now, I'm one of the few people here who's not related to somebody else here. We have so many families here that have been here for generations. And this one is a cousin to that one. That one is a relative of that one. This one married that one's brother. This one married that one's sister. So we, it's like a family thing. But even though, like I said, I don't have any natural born family here, I still have family. I have cousins, I have nieces and nephews, I have sisters, I have brothers, I have aunts. I even, I even have my new grandma. <laughs> and that, Most of the people who are here grew up in the neighborhood. Um, like I said, those families that I was telling you about that were related, a lot of them were lived on Hamburg Street, on Sharp Street, on Leadenhall Street, on Montgomery Street. So they came from in, from in the neighborhood. And this was the church that they came to. And this was the church that their, their grandparents came to, and their great-grandparents, and their great-great-great-grandparents came to. Because this is where they settled in this neighborhood. We used to have one of our members who, um, as far as I know, she was the oldest member Ebenezer has ever had. She died at 103, and she was telling me one day, um, I used to take her home, that when she first came to the church, there all of these houses down here weren't here. That the, the church itself was surrounded by trees. We didn't have the inner harbor. Now the inner harbor, um, that's something that's come along in my lifetime. I'm 60, and it's come along in my lifetime. And so we didn't have we didn't have the neighborhood as it is now. Like the same lady that I was telling you about, the one who died at 103, taking her home and we're going through downtown and she's looking around and she's going, oh sweet Jesus. I go, what's wrong Sister Ann? And she said, things have changed so much. She said, these buildings, these buildings weren't here when I started coming to church. Ebenezer has been here through many events that have happened here in Baltimore City and Ebenezer still stands. Um, we hope to be standing another 176 years. Ebenezer is still standing. Now, yeah, we need a little work, but you gotta remember, 176 years old. So we need a little work, but we're still standing with these hand-carved buildings holding up the church. The things that are here have changed quite a bit since Ebenezer was here. So there's been a lot of development around Ebenezer. But Ebenezer has still remained the same. A lot of the things that have come since Ebenezer have gone, and Ebenezer is still here. Um, we have been here, we are here, and we're going to be here.